Brandon Alexander, Jim East over at Maryville High School. The first round of the Class 4A sectional number two. About to get underway the second game tonight from Maryville High School. As the first one saw Portage moving on. And they will play the winner of this one. Valpo and Crown Point set to go at it. Going to run down the starters for the Vikings. It's Nicholas, Wald, Helm, Boss, or excuse me, Paul and Tenhold. And for the Bulldogs, it's going to be Bonin, Burquist, Jeffers, Stefanovic, and Bukowski getting the start for Crown Point. Tip is off, and it goes to Valpo, controlled by Evan Wall. Wall, far side of the court, moving right to left on your radio dial tonight. Kicks it over to Connor Tenhold in the backcourt. Tenhold to Nicholas. Now to Anselm. Anselm, or that's not, excuse me, that's Andrew Paul, wearing 42, funny angle there. Paul with a 14-foot jumper from the paint, gets it to go. First points of the night for Valpo, 2-0 Vikings. Other side with it for the Bulldogs is Burquist. Burquist to Galon. Now to Stefanovic. Crown point with a strong perimeter game. Likes to move the ball quickly and get off quick shots. Galon on the left wing. Traveled. Looking to do a little too much before the dribble coach. First turnover for the Bulldogs. This. I think Matt Thomas has done just an outstanding job for Valparaiso. And uh, they got the quick lead and we'll see what happens. But uh, they are very good with the lead. Early on first quarter here from Maryville, 2-0. Vikings seven minutes to go here in the first. It's Tenho for Valpo. Dishes it off to Steve Helm. Helm now for Tenho, back to Paul. Drew Paul, top of the key, working on Sasha Stefanovic, who is an excellent defender for Crown Point. Three-pointer triggered by Evan Walls from the baseline. Nothing but net for Walls. 5-0 Vikings early on. Now it's Blake Bonin for Crown Point. Outlet feed for Stefanovic. Back to Bonin, left wing. Bonin working on Walls. Good matchup between the point guards here tonight. With it for Crown Point now is Burquist. Burquist dribble drive right side. Can't get it to go, but they'll call the foul. And that foul will go against Helm. That'll be his first. Valparaiso actually spread the floor. They have five guys outside the three-point line. And when they penetrate, somebody has to help and they kicked out, and that's why they got that three-point shot. So taking the first three throws of the night for the Bulldogs is Josh Berkwith, and the first one is in and out off the rim. Clanks off the back of the iron for Berkwith. 5 nothing Vikings, 6.22 left to go here in the first quarter. Second one for Josh is good. So first points of the night for Bulldogs, 5-1 to one Valpo. Cross-court pass quickly at Steve Helm, left wing. Gets it to Walls. Walls guarded closely by Blake Bonin. Back to Helm. Helm will look to set the offense. Guarded by Josh Burquist. Has a big height advantage over Helm. Very deliberate offense. Very deliberate. Andrew Ball, three-pointer from the left elbow. No good. Rebound brought down by Burquist for the Bulldogs. Gets it to Bonin, who will bring it across half court. Now it's Jeffers. Baseline drive for Galon and let feed for Stefanovic. And Stefanovic took the shot, couldn't get it, but was fouled again. Two quick fouls on Valparaiso. If they if they attack Valparaiso, they're going to they're going to foul now and then, and uh, that's uh, that's an advantage to Crown Point. So foul will go against Drew Paul. That's that is first. if they hit the free throws. Yep. So first free throw attempt for Stefanovic was no good. Second one is up, and that's no good either. So. Crown Point off to a shaky start. One for four from the stripe. They trail Valpo five to one. Five and a half to go here in the first quarter. For the Vikings, it's Nicholas. Nicholas guarded by Galon. Gets it out to Tenhove. Tenhove in the backcourt. Nice crossover dribble. Lays it up to the right side and one. Jeffers fouled him. A nice move by Connor Tenhove. The big man driving the lane. And finishing the ball. Well, he has guard skills, and he, he took uh, Jeffers right to the basket. So Ten Hove will look to complete the three-point play and extend his team's six-point lead early on here in sectional number two. He makes a free throw. Eight to one, Valpo. Bringing it across for the Bulldogs is Bonin. Left side, Stefanovic, back to Blake. Lake evaluates the rotation. High screen set by Jeffers. Now it's Stefanovic. 
Stefanovic back out to Burquist. Long three for Grant Galon off the back of the rim. Rebound recovered by Brandon Nicholas for Valpo. Nicholas will get it up quickly. Over to Steve Helm, who pops the three from the left wing. No good. And rebound crown point. For the Bulldogs, it's Jeffers. Left side for Burquist. Now back outside for Bonin. Bonin was looking inside for Jeffers. Turned it over. Recovered by Helm. Steve will bring it across half court himself. Find space to the right side. Out to Nicholas. Nicholas drives from the right side. Lays it up with the right hand and in. And very quickly, 10 to 1 Valparaiso. And the Bulldogs have to take a timeout. It'll be a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Valpo out to that early lead, coach. Well, this is the way they play. They, they spread the floor. They take their time. They're very patient. They look for um, uh, mismatches. Even though they didn't have one there, I thought uh, uh, Tenholt did a nice job of attacking the basket and so forth. So 10-1 to lead, 9-point lead right now. We'll see what happens, but uh, Crown Point's going to have to do something very quickly. Well, it certainly doesn't help them going one for four from the free throw no. line early on. But uh, have not sank a field goal or for four from the field are the Bulldogs, where the Vikings are three for five thus far. And putting points on the board are the starters for Valpo. And this is just what the doctor ordered if you're in green tonight out to this early lead. And containing the shooters they're of using, the Bulldogs. They got a 1-3. They're using 1-3-1 one, one right now. So Valpo in the zone. Putting press on the Bulldogs. It's Bonin. Inlet feed back outside for Stefanovic. And it was Berkwitz. Mishandled the ball, turned it over. And it'll go back to the Vikings. Double dribble. Not a good start for Crown Point. So Hellman bounds it to Walls. And Walls will bring it up. 4 10 left to go here in the first quarter. 10 to 1 Valpo. With it for the Vikings is Basaki. In the game now for Valpo, Jay, top of the key, guarded by Stefanovic. Left side feed for Nicholas. Nicholas picks up his dribble. Working on Galon. Nicholas drives right side over to Tenhove baseline. 16-foot jumper for Connor, no good. And rebound recovered by Crown Point. Gets it out to Blake Bonin, who will bring it across half court quickly. Valpo looking to pick up the pace on the offensive side here as they trail by nine. It's Galon. Right side baseline for Bonin, cross court for Stefanovic. Stefanovic looks at the three, feeds it inside for Nick Jeffers. And Jeffers went up for the shot, came back down. They'll call that a double dribble. So the third turnover, turnover already for Crown Point here in the first quarter. They just have a point on the board with three and a half minutes to go in the first, Coach. It's not good. You know, uh, Jeffers attempted to go baseline, but he, he, did, he took that wide uh step and, and uh, bounce the ball after he already left his feet. For Valpo, it's 10 hole. Right side baseline for Evan Walls. Three ball, no good. Rebound to Secchi. And the putback attempt for Jay is good underneath the basket. First point of the night for Jay. 12 to 1 Valpo. Back up the floor is Blake Bonin. Looking for space. Tenacious defense by Valparaiso on that man-to-man. -man. Back outside for Bonin, guarded by Walls. Now it's Stefanovic, back to Blake. Jeffers, Bonin, playing around the perimeter is Crown Point, can't find space, Galon. Now back to Berquist, Berquist is guarded by Helm. Three-pointer shot up by Sasha Stefanovic. Can't find the rim, off the backboard, rebound Evan Walls. Valpo chaining air ball, but I don't agree. <laughs> it hit, hit it over the rim. It hit the backboard, it's not an air ball. <laughs> Right near the Valpo fan section, who are here in force supporting their Vikings tonight. Two minutes and 15 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. And Valpo out to a very early lead, 12 to 1. With it for the Vikings is Cole Wolf now in the game. It's Wolf over to Helm on the baseline. Helm crossover dribble back out to Wolf. Not a Tenhove in the backcourt. Tenhove guarded by Jeffers. Very patient. The Saki. Dribble drive right side, can't get it. Rebound crown point. They find Blake Bonin who will bring it across. High ball screen set by Jeffers. Doesn't have fade walls. Now it's Jeffers on the right wing, back outside to Stefanovic. 
Stefanovic to Berquist, top of the key, back to Sasha. Three ball, right wing, no good. Crown Point can't find their stroke. That was a long three-pointer off the back of the rim, rebound Valpo. Well, when you, de- when you depend on the three-point as the key shot for your team, you're in trouble. They're 0 for 3 from the perimeter tonight as Crown Point 12 to 1 Vikings with 72 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Moving quickly here in the second game of sectional number two over here at Merrillville. Connor Tenhove, top of the key, being patient. Right side, Cole Wolf. Wolf to Basaki. Basaki picks up the dribble. Guarded by Ken Decker in the game now for Crown Point as well. Gets it back to Helm, who directs traffic. 47 seconds left to go here in the first. Helm, left wing, back to Walls. Walls, three ball, no good. Rebound Stefanovic for Crown Point. Bulldogs got to get a basket here in the first quarter. 35 seconds left to go. It's Bonin, dribbles left side for Burquist. Berquist drives the lane on Helm, puts up a shot, and gets it to go off the glass. So first points of the night, first field goal of the night for, Berqu- or for Crown Point and Berquist. Josh has all three, 12 to 3 Valpo, and bringing it up the floor is Walls with 15 seconds to go in the first, and Valpo should look for the last shot. There will be a foul called on the ball. It was Evan Walls with it, and that foul will go against Blake Bonin off the off the ball. Andrew Paul will check back in for Valparaiso, and the Vikings will get an inbound with 11.3 to go here in the first quarter. I call that a ticky tech foul, but, uh, you know, he's right there in front of the official. Well, you had mentioned in the first game, the referees were letting him play, and so far here, uh, the fouls are being called. Two seconds. It's Nicholas. Takes the shot 15 feet. And no good. Went underneath the basket. That's the end of the first quarter. Moving quickly here for Maryville High School. Valpo out to an early 12-3 lead. We'll take a timeout and come back with a second right here on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. Hey, it's Tara for Christensen Chevy. Christensen Chevrolet is a local family-owned and operated Chevrolet dealership celebrating over 60 years in the community serving all of Northwest Indiana and Chicagoland. If you stop in, you can see why families and businesses have put their trust in us for generations. At Christensen, we have an enormous inventory of new Chevys with all of your favorite models in stock ready for immediate delivery because that's the Christensen way. We're Christensen Chevrolet, proud sponsor of our great local high school athletic programs on Indy Boulevard and Highland. Or visit ChristensenChevy.com. When facing cancer, you want the best possible care. The Hospitals of Franciscan Alliance are committed to providing state-of-the-art treatment using the most advanced cancer-fighting technology available. All right here in our community. You would go anywhere for world-class cancer treatment. It's nice to know we don't have to go far. For Franciscan Alliance Cancer Care. For more information, visit franciscanalliance.org. Tonight's game is being underwritten by your Indiana Farm Bureau insurance agents in Lake County. Different drivers require different kinds of car insurance. Coverage from house to house isn't always the same. And life policies vary, too. Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance of Lake County is proud to, in part, underwrite high school sports. On 90.5 FM, WRTW, The Key. Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance of Lake County. High school basketball on The Key, 90.5 FM, WRTW, Brown Point. Listening to Prep Basketball here on 90.5, the key in the region sports network, brought to you by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Chevy are the MVP of MPGs underway in the second quarter. During the timeout, Blake Bonin came right out on the inbounds and shot a three-pointer and sunk it, cuts the lead to six for Valpo as it's 12 to six now. Now a turnover for the Vikings. Underneath the basket was Cole Wolf. Gives it back to the Bulldogs who look to find their way back in this one, Coach. Well, you know, a 12 to 6 lead is not possible. I saw a game last night on television where a team was down 20 and ended up winning by 10, I think. But uh, that was college basketball. Other way now, moving left to right on your radio dial is Blake Bonin. Pops another three, and here comes Blake. Nothing but net. If he finds his stroke, he's in range. If Anywhere he shoots on the, the ball. <laughs> he's got the stroke, but if he shoots the ball. 12 to 9, Valpo. Lead cut to three, bringing it up to four for the Vikings is Nicholas. 
Hands it off to Cole Wolf, top of the key. Wolf working on Stefanovic. Over to Helm. Top of the key now, Paul. Right side, Wolf. Wolf looks for Nicholas. Nicholas thinking about the three on the right elbow. Drives baseline. Back out to Helm. And Nicholas stepped on the baseline. Well, Bonin took a charge. Okay, Bonin took the charge. I thought they called it out of bounds. No, they, they called the uh, offensive foul. Okay, so that'll be the first foul on Nicholas. You know, a three-pointer here will tie the game up. Yep, after just like such that. a terrible start. Just like that. 2-2-1 two, two, by uh, Valparaiso. Trying to slow the momentum down a little bit. So with it now for Crown Point is Bonin. Left side for Burquist. Underneath Coach and I is Noah Morales in the game for the first time tonight. Over to Bonin. Left wing. Dribbles left now. And it's Burquist. Burquist very, thinking about the Crown three. Point is very patient right now. Yep. Being very methodical are the Bulldogs. Outlet feed for Burquist. Thought about the three. Now he does. Pops the three from the left side. No good. Rebound and putback is good for Nick Jeffers. One point lead for Valparaiso after such a great start. You know, they, they play the kind of game that, that is very good for a team that's ahead. They have a very difficult time mm -hmm. in coming from behind. Well, Nick Jeffers has to do work underneath the basket. He leads the team with nine rebounds a game this year. His first of the night leads to a bucket his first of the night. And with it for Valpo was Andrew Paul. They'll call the travel, and they'll turn it back over. So Crown Point back in this one, 12 to 11, looks to take their first lead of the night. It was a good call. Got a scoreboard update for you. The scoreboard update is brought to you by the Smith Auto Group. Early on in the first quarter, Munster with a 24 to 7 lead over Lake Central. That's at the end of one in sectional number one over at East Chicago Central. We'll be, have more scores for you throughout the night. And that's brought to you by the Smith Auto Group with three Northwest Indiana locations, two brands, one name. With it for Crown Point now is Bonin. Bonin to Stefanovic. Burquist back to Blake. Blake, three ball, top of the key. 27 feet for Blake Bonin. That's nine straight from the perimeter for Blake. 14 to 12, Crown Point. There go the Bulldogs in a timeout, Valparaiso. It'll be a 30 second timeout. We'll keep it right here. All of a sudden, Crown Point with a two point lead here in the second quarter. Tonight's game is underwritten in part by the Randall K. Miss Accounting Group in Cherville. When it comes to business, let Randall K. Bit Miss put um, accounting, put the numbers to work. Their phone number is 864-8541, and they are online at www.rkmissgroup.com. Brandon Alexander in the Hall of Famer Jim East over at Maryville High School. And game number two of sectional two in the 4A Indiana Basketball State Tournament. Valpo and Crown Point haven't added. Crown Point was out to an early. It was 12, 12 to 1. 1. 12 to 1. 12 to 3 at, at the end of the first could, quarter. At 13 points in a row. Crown Point on a 13-0 run to end the first and into the second. 14 to 12. Now Bulldogs with the lead. Bringing it up for Valpo off the inbounds is Evan Walls. Walls back with it. Right wing. Moving right to left to Wolf. Wolf to Paul, not a Nicholas left side. High ball screen set, Nicholas back over to Wolf. Wolf thought about the three, picked up the ball back to Nicholas. Now it's Wolf again, left wing, working on Burquist. Burquist with his hands extended. Wolf's got to get it back out to Paul, not a ten hole. Two tallest guys on the court in the backcourt. Ten hole had it knocked away, but found Nicholas again, top of the key. Valparaiso plays the kind of game, again, that is very good when you're ahead. Yep. But uh, coming from behind, you, you've got to be able to, to run that same offense and get some easy baskets. But they don't get easy baskets. Penhove looking for the drive. Can't find it. Good defense by Nick Jeffers. Back to Walls. Now now it's doing a good Paul. job. Very good job on defense. Being patient. Bulldog crowd getting into it as their defense has stepped up so far here in the second quarter. Ooh. Valpo doesn't have a point. Three minutes, 35 seconds left to go here in the second as Crown Point is working on a 13-0 run. And it'll be a foul on the floor against Crown Point. That one will go against Stefanovic. That's his first. As Cole Wolf will have a seat for the Vikings. 
And Steve Helm checks back in. Off the inbounds, three-pointer by Drew Paul is no good. Rebound Stefanovic for the Bulldogs. Looking to extend their lead, 14-12 Bulldogs. With it is Sasha. Now it's Morales, guarded by Nicholas. Let feet to Stefanovic, backs in, spin jumper, no good on the fadeaway. Air ball, and recovered by Evan Walls. Walls is going to keep it himself, layup right side, had a block, but heads up play by Connor Tenholm, couldn't get it to go in the putback. Very, very fortunate, very the fortunate. Second attempt there by Walls, or by Helm, I should say, will draw the foul. It was very fortunate to come out with just a foul, but uh, we'll see what uh, Valparaiso does to free throw line. So in the game is Thane Bukowski, who draws his first foul of the night. And at the line for the Vikings is Steve Helm. I always say that big games are won at the free throw line. That, that, well, so far, Valpo's got the advantage there, Coach. Yeah, one for one. Well, they're, they're using the old Valparaiso style, the Virgil's sweet style of, of shooting. You see that? Cock <laughs> and shoot. Second free throw for... Helm is good, so two points on the night for Steve and a tie ball game now at 14 with three minutes on the button to go here in the first half. Three-pointer shot up by Sasha Stefanovic is no good for crown point and a rebound by Brandon Nicholas bringing it back up the floor. We'll have some more scores for you just here in a moment. Brandon Nicholas crossover dribble, nice move, picks it up. Outlet feed for Steve Helm, and Helm will travel on the perimeter. Tail of two quarters for both teams. It was crown point with a hard time getting a hold of the basketball in the first quarter with a few turnovers. Now Valpo getting a little anxious. Three turnovers in the quarter as crown points on this 13-2 run and a tie ball game at 14. End of the third quarter in the Class 3A Sectional 18 over at Calumet. It's New Prairie, 39 Kankakee Valley 27 and that scoreboard update brought to you once again by the Smith Auto Group. Smith Ford and Lowell your AX and Z plan headquarters. Valparaiso uh, came out in a 1-3-1. It gave uh, Crown Point some trouble. They're very fortunate to come out with the basketball. So off the inbounds Blake Bonin gets it in the backcourt. Rainbow pass to the baseline and back out for Bukowski. Bukowski over to Burquist now cross court for Bonin. Valpo, arms in the airplane, tenacious defense. Working on a man-to-man, trying to get two guys on every bulldog that touches the ball. Blake Bonin with a long three. Can't get it to go. Rebound, Bukowski, put back with the left hand, no good. And jumping up for the rebound was Jeffers, and it looks like Nick, Nick will Nick was a foul. foul. I think it was a foul on Valparaiso inside. And, yep. And it will go against Tenho. That's the first on Connor. So an inbounds play for Crown Point. Another three-pointer put up by Blake Bonin from the baseline. He gets that one to go. 12 points now for Bonin. 17-14 Bulldogs, their largest lead of the evening. But the Prevalpo is Walls. Walls, Nicholas, top of the key, guarded by Thane Bukowski. Right wing now for Evan Walls again. Underneath, Ten Hove. Ten Hove looking to make an aggressive move against Jeffers. I think it was a foul on uh, 24. That's, yeah, the foul uh, will go against Morales. Morales. Underneath the basket against Ten Hove, so Connor will go to the line for two. That's the first foul of the night for Morales. Ten Hove averaging just over 12 a game for the Vikings. And gets the bounce on the rim for his first free throw. And four points in the night for him. He had an and one play in the first quarter. His only field goal thus far, 17-15 Bulldogs. Second free throw, Connor, is good. So five for ten hold. One point game, 17-16 crown point with the lead and the ball. It's Burquist. Dribbles around the ball screen. Back to Bonin. Blake. Right wing for Burquist, guarded by Helm. Berquist drives left side on Helm. Helm loses his footing but gets it back. Now it's Bukowski. Almost traveled the same but got it out to Blake. Now it's Morales on the baseline, guarded tightly by Drew Paul. Very patient. That's what we need to do against Valparaiso. You have to be patient. Bukowski looking inside. 
for Jeffers, turns it over, stolen away by Brandon Nicholas. Nicholas will bring it up the sideline himself. Now on the baseline is Brandon, guarded by Bukowski, picks up his dribble, finds Tenhove in the backcourt. Connor hands it back off to Nicholas, who will take his time. 42 seconds left to go here in the first half. Valpo looking to get that lead back. Nicholas almost lost it between his legs. Guarded by Bukowski. Nicholas now for Tenho. Tenho dribbles left side. Hesitates. Spin move. Floater. Eight feet. No good. Rebound crown point. 25 seconds left to go here in the second. Should be a one-shot situation. What a quarter here for the Bulldogs. Looking to get the last shot of the, of the half and extend their lead. 17-16 crown point. Blake Bonin with it near midcourt. Ten seconds to go. Bukowski left wing. Guarded by Nicholas. Back to Blake Bonin looking inside for Helm. Helm intercepts it. And he was looking cross court for ten holes. It'll go to bounds on Connor. And back to crown point with 1.4 to go here in the first half. And Matt Thomas for the Vikings isn't too pleased with that call. And, wow, they reversed the Yeah, you, can, you can't let another referee wow. come in and, and change your call. What is it, one point? One point game, and they reversed the one call. They called the crown point. Uh, head coach Matt Thomas for Valpo protested and won. You don't see that very often. So Evan Walls will inbound the ball from center court for Valparaiso. 1.4 seconds left to go here in the first half. Walls. Looking inside, Drew Paul has got to shoot it long. Three, air ball, no good. That'll be the end of the first half. What a second quarter for Crown Point. 14-3, they outscore Valparaiso in the second quarter. And they go in the locker room with a one-point lead. 17-16, Crown Point with the lead. Here for Merrillville, Coach Jim East and I will take a timeout. We'll come back with stats and break down to the first half. Give you some scores from around the area and sneak preview of the second. Right here on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. You're listening to the Region Sports Network on WRTW, Crown Point, and WRTK, Paxton, Illinois. If you're looking for a real restaurant that's way above what the chains have to offer, now is the time to break the chain habit without breaking the bank at the Town Club in Highland. We specialize in huge, juicy steaks, terrific prime rib, delicate and tasty perch, all served fresh for you in a warm and cozy setting. If you haven't been here in a while, now is a great time to come back. If you've never joined us for a great meal, you will leave wanting to come back again and again. The Town Club is open for lunch or dinner. The Town Club, 2904 45th Street, in Highland. Triple Crown All-Stars Baseball and Softball Academy in Cherville is a year-round instructional facility featuring a fully astroturf building for team practice, batting cages, infield, and pitching mounds. The staff at Triple Crown features years of professional instruction in hitting, pitching, and fielding for both baseball and softball. Triple Crown All-Star Baseball and Softball Academy is located at 2208 US 41 in Cherville, and the number to call to make a reservation is 219-864-0711. The website is triplecrownallstars.com. Quality, family, convenience, trust. The four interlocking diamonds that symbolize United Federal Credit Union represent our commitment to our members. Quality, what we strive for in every transaction. Family, we have products and financial advice for every stage of life, like we would for our own family. Convenience, we are constantly adding ways to make our products more convenient, like mobile banking, online banking, and 24-hour telephone banking. Service, our service-oriented staff will take the time to get to know you on a personal level. United Federal Credit Union in Griffith. We'll get you there. You're listening to the Region Sports Network on WRTW Crown Point and WRTK Paxton, Illinois. This is a presentation of the Region Sports Planning on traveling to Indy for the state finals? Embassy Suites is located in the heart of Indianapolis. Embassy Suites is connected to Circle Center with many entertainment and dining options. All guests can enjoy two-room suites with bedroom and living room and complimentary hot breakfast each morning. Embassy Suites Indianapolis, 317-236-1800 or 1-800-EMBASSY. When facing cancer, you want the best possible care. The Hospitals of Franciscan Alliance are committed to providing state-of-the-art treatment using the most advanced cancer-fighting technology available. All right here in our community. You would go anywhere for world-class cancer treatment. It's nice to know we don't have to go far. For Franciscan Alliance Cancer Care. For more information, visit franciscanalliance.org. 
Sports in the region are about tradition, and since 1946, Barry Brothers in Hammond has built a tradition of quality and service. With a professionally trained sales staff, Barry Brothers offers a selection of quality American-made work boots, safety shoes, and apparel. Located on Indianapolis Boulevard, a half mile north of Interstate 94, Barry Brothers is devoted to providing exceptional service to ensure the satisfaction of every customer. Barry Brothers is open seven days a week, and gift certificates are available. The website is barrybros.com. High School Basketball on the Key, 90.5 FM, WRTW, Brown Point. Welcome back to another Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy Dealers presentation of High School Basketball. Right here on the Region Sports Network, coming to you live tonight on 90.5 The Key, WRTW, and streaming worldwide on the Internet at regionsports.com. We are at halftime over here at Maryville High School, the second game of two tonight in sectional number two of the Indiana Class 4A State Championship Tournament, 17-16. to 16, The Crown Point Bulldogs with That's a like a quarter frenzy. score, that's not a, a halftime Yeah, score. with a frenzy of a second quarter coming all the way back from a 12-1 to deficit in the locker room with a one-point advantage right now over the Valparaiso Vikings. I'm Brandon Alexander. He's the Hall of Famer, Jim Meese, bringing you all the action tonight from Maryville. What a first half of action tonight, Coach. Yeah, you know, uh, Blake Bonin uh, got the uh, ground point else. offense going. Yep. Well... Uh, he had four threes. That that's pretty. That's a that's a game statistic. But uh, the first half that really kept uh, yeah, Crown Point in the ball game and uh, put the Valparaiso back on their heels a little bit. Well, the only point in the first quarter for Crown Point was a field goal by Nick Jeffers with just over a minute to go in the first quarter. Jeffers, their leading scorer, just with two points at halftime right now. Leading all scorers is Blake Bonin with four threes at 12 points. Uh, also for Crown Point, three points for Burquist, and that's about it for the scoring for Crown Point. Uh, with Valparaiso, they spread out the scoring a little bit more. Nicholas with a field goal, Walls with a tray, Steve Helm with a couple of free throws, Basaki with a bucket, Paul and Tenhove both with a field goal. Tenhove making all three of his free throws as well, so five points of the night for Connor, averaging about 12 a game, so we can look for some more scoring from him here in the second half. But for the most part, you know, the stars in this one, if you take, except for Blake, um, were, were quiet in, in this first half. A very low scoring first half. What do you, what do you attribute well, that to, G- Coach? Galon, Galon uh, well, it's a tournament. Yeah. It's, a, it's an entirely it's a different, different game. You yeah. know what? You know what's next? Baseball and track. <laughs> you got to be thinking about that. But uh, keep in mind, Galon has not scored, and uh, Jeffers has, has two. That's their two leading scores. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the fun of it, guy? Did he score yet? Nothing. Nothing. So we got two points from three players yep. that all three are averaging in double figures. But, uh, but uh, Blake Bowen has come to the rescue, and we'll see what happens in the second half. Crown Point has only shot four free throws and made one of them. Those all coming in the first quarter, the one made by Josh Burquist, uh, shooting two from the line, just made the second of the two. So Crown Point struggling from the line in the first quarter, uh, but they were able to recover on the, on the shoulders of Blake Bonin, uh, finding his stroke from beyond the arc, uh, sinking four trades in the second quarter, putting up 12 points, and getting his Bulldogs back into this one. They lead at halftime 17-16. to 16. Folks, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and the Peak Performers return for another season on the Region Sports Network and regionsports.com, underwritten by Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Check for the Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance peak performers every week on regionsports.com. That's Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance with offices in Crown Point, Highland, Hobart, Lowell, and Cherville. Good coverage does not have to cost more. Hey, let us know you're listening tonight. Send us an email over to fanmail at regionsports.com. Our guy Nathan Laird will get it over in the RSN studios. Let us know you're listening, and we will give you a shout-out during the broadcast. That's fanmail at regionsports.com. Of course, Region Sports Network will be with you all through the Indiana High School Tournament. And it will return tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, with coverage here from Maryville and East Chicago Central. Stay logged on to regionsports.com for the updated <laughs> broadcast schedule. Tonight's game is also underwritten in part by the State Farm Agency of Bob Reese in Crown Point, located at 152 West Joliet Street. Bob Reese State Farm is open Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 and in the evenings by appointment and can be reached at 663 73 37. Bob Reese State Farm is a proud supporter of Bulldog Athletics on the Region Sports Network. Would also like to mention uh, Z Alloy Metal Distribution in Crown Point. Z Alloy wishes 
Chris, uh, Coach Clint Swan the best of luck this season. And in turn, we would like to thank the folks at Z Alloy for their support of the broadcast of Crown Point Boys and Girls Basketball. Z Alloy, Crown Point Industry, supporting Crown Point Basketball. Teams coming back onto the floor. Just about two minutes till halftime, but we'll take a minute. We just got to hand it all the stats here, Coach. Anything stick out to you? Well, you know, uh, Valparaiso has shot more shot. They're 5 for 17 from the field versus uh, 6 out of 13 for Crown Point. But uh, you take away the 4 out of 5 mm -hmm. for Bonin, and uh, the shooting percentage is very low. But keep in mind one thing. Uh, they are distributing the ball for uh, Valparaiso. I think six players have scored, and mm -hmm. uh, they can't key on one player. Well, we, we've used the word patience. A lot in this broadcast thus far. Both teams very, being very methodical on the offensive end, moving the ball around the perimeter and being able to find space. And it was a tale of two quarters as Valpo uh, was sinking their shots in the first and then the Bulldogs came out in the second and certainly found their stroke. It's a close one. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to come back in one minute with the second half right here on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. Smith Ford on Route 2 in Lowell is Northwest Indiana's straightforward, no-bull Ford dealer. Smith Ford has a great selection of new Fords like the new Fusion and C-Max hybrids that are rated at 47 miles per gallon, highway and city. Smith Ford also has a selection of fine pre-driven vehicles and the service and parts departments are open six days a week to get you in and out in a timely fashion, no-bull. Smith Ford on Route 2 in Lowell. The website is smithfordlowell.com. Green 18! Green 18 does! The Region Sports Network is proud to be the exclusive media partner of the Crown Point Junior Bulldog Youth Football League. The Junior Bulldogs are Northwest Indiana's largest independent youth football league serving over 500 players and their families from 22 Northwest Indiana communities. For more information on the Crown Point Junior Bulldogs Youth Football League, the website is cpjrbulldogs.com. That's cpjrbulldogs.com. High School Basketball on the Key, 90.5 FM, WRPW, Crown Point. You've got prep basketball here on the Region Sports Network, brought to you by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Visit ChevyDriveChicago.com. Crown Point and Valparaiso over here at Merrillville High School in the second game of the 4A sectional number two, just about to get underway here in the second half, and Valpo will get the ball to start this third frame. Nicholas inbounds it to Walls who will run the point once again for Valpo. Evan hasn't had a seat all night long. Starters back in for both teams. It's Evan Walls now on the left wing. Lob pass inside for Drew Paul. Paul puts up a little floater. Can't get it. Fighting for it is Nicholas and Jeffers. Jeffers recovers. But they'll say that he stepped out of bounds and it'll go back to the Vikings. Ground point's got to realize that they have to check uh, Valparaiso off the board. That was, there was a chance right there to get the ball uh, with a one-point lead, but uh, here Valparaiso has the ball. Inbounds for the Vikings. With it is Evan Wall. Wall dribbles right. Hands off to Nicholas. Nicholas working on Galon from the Bulldogs. Drew Paul. Paul with good ball handling skills. Finds Helm on the outside. They're in that five out uh, offense again. We'll see what happens. They're trying to uh, penetrate with the dribble. And, and uh, they, got the, they got the basket right there. Nice spin move there for Drew Paul. And a sky hook with his left hand finds the basket. Four points on the night for Drew. Valpo regains the lead, 18-17. Quickly, other side, it's Blake Bonin. He can put it in from underneath the basket, too. Lays it up and in. 14 of the night for Blake. Both teams exchanging baskets here early on in the third quarter. 6.50 left to go in the third. 19-18 crown point. But for the Vikings is Nicholas. It's really a war going on down inside. Uh, for Valparaiso, uh, Tenho is really posting up hard. Uh, Tenho and Jeffers, the biggest bodies on the court, spend a lot of time in the backcourt on the offensive side for Valparaiso as Connor, for yeah, a guy that's uh, six seven, does a good job of handling the ball and working the backcourt. And Valpo certainly tries to take advantage of any mismatch that they can find in their games. Long two put up by Steve Helm is good. Helm scores his first field goal of the night. Four points overall. 20 to 19 Vikings. Another side for Crown Point. 
had it knocked away was Stefanovic. It'll go back to Crown Point. You're listening to Region Sports Network coverage of high school basketball on the key, 90.5 FM, WRTW Crown Point, WRTK Paxton, Illinois, and streaming worldwide on the Internet at regionsports.com. Third quarter action here from Maryville High School in the 4A sectional, 20 to 19. Valparaiso with the lead right now over Crown Point Bulldog basketball. With it for Crown Point is Stefanovic. Burquist, Burquist drives right side, floats it back out to Sasha. Sasha, top of the key, scores from beyond the arc. Sooner or later, those three point shots are going to start falling for Crown Point. First field goal of the night for Stefanovic, averages 12 a game for the Bulldogs. 22 20 Crown Point. With it for Valpo is Tenho. Tenho finds space in the paint, puts up a floater from 10 feet, and scores. Nice left handed shot by uh, Tenho. So, seven on the night for Connor Tenho. We'll update you on our scores that we have thus far. We'll have some more coming in from the RSN studios as they do come in. The scoreboard update is brought to you by the Smith Auto Group. Smith, Chevrolet, and Hammond, and Lowell. We go the extra mile. Last update at half, it was Munster 35, Lake Central 22. That's at the East Chicago Central sectional in Class 4A. And in Class 3A, sectional 18, New Prairie and Kankakee Valley at the end of three. It's New Prairie with a 12-point lead over KV, 39-27. We have one final to report, the first game here at Maryville early on. It's the Portage Indians advancing to play the winner of this game with a 61-47 victory over Laporte. And those scores were again brought to you by the Smith Auto Group, the home of no hassle, no haggle pricing. After the timeout, 5.20 left to go here in the third quarter. With the inbounds for Crown Point is Stefanovic. who gets to Bonin, cross court to Burquist in the backcourt. And Bonin and Burquist just playing catch. Trying to toy with Steve Helm and Evan Walls, who have been outstanding tonight in the backcourt defense for the Vikings. Right wing now is Burquist. Inside feed for Jeffers, drives the baseline. And Jeffers will charge. Drawing the charge. Good job there by Cole Wolf. Uh, yeah, I, I believe it was a charge. You well, know, it was either going to be a charge or a double dribble. <laughs> or a travel, I should or say, because he jumped and came back down. So it was going back to Valpo one way or the other. Jeffers collects his second foul. Jeffers needs to get his game together. I think he's the, he's the key to the game right now. Uh, he's the leading scorer for the Bulldogs, 18 a game, shooting 69% from the field on the year. Just a bucket for Nick tonight. Yep. And a foul will go against Valpo off the ball. Well, he's uh, being fronted, and he's pushing off from the underside, and uh, Fischl's right there yep. looking at the play. And that was Tenho with the ball in the paint. And draw the offensive foul, his second of the night for Connor, so he'll have to uh, be careful. Don't want anyone of the starters getting up in fouls here in the third quarter. Four minutes, 30 seconds left to go. In a tie ball game, 22 all. Crown Point and Valpo. Bonin, right side for Burquist. Burquist, nice move, dribbles left side, layup with the left hand, no good for Josh. Bobbled underneath the basket, recovered by Valpo, bringing it up is Nicholas. Nicholas to Wolf. Wolf baseline feed for Tenho. Another foul. And another foul is going to go against Tenho. He hooked him. He used yep. his arm and hooked him. So Connor with the elbow is going to have a seat as Matt Thomas will check in Drew Paul and Connor will go have a seat on the first row of the bleachers here at Maryville for the first time tonight. That's his third foul. Could be a factor in this ball game. Tie game at 22. Four minutes left to go here in the third quarter over here at Maryville High School. Right side with it for Crown Point is Blake Bonin. Bonin guarded by Helm. They've been going at it all night. Bonin thought about the three from about 30 feet. Double pump. Finds Galon left wing. Back to Blake. Now to Burquist. Now it's Galon top of the key. Galon looking for the inlet feed for Jeffers. They're doing a real good job on Jeffers on inside. Yes, they are. Making it very difficult to, for entry pass, and, and uh, he's being fronted uh, halfway. Will be an inbounds play for the Bulldogs. Bonin gets it into 
Stefanovic, who hands it off to Gaylon, will dribble back out near midcourt. Blake Bonin rotates around, takes it back. Now it's Burquist to Stefanovic. Stefanovic with a quiet night so far, just three points on the night, averaging 12 a game. Interesting thing about Sasha is he's led the team in turnovers this year. And with his Valparaiso defense, maybe that was part of the game plan, Coach, to keep it out of Sasha's hand, 62 turnovers on the season. Stefanovic has it now, triple teamed in the paint, gets it back out to Berkwitz. Very patient here by Crown Point, but Valparaiso is doing an excellent job on defense. Berkwitz left side, time ticking away here in the third quarter, under three minutes to go now. Long possession for Crown Point. Valpo student section egging their team on. Not so much anymore. Top of the key is Berkwitz. And Berkwitz travels at the top of the key, got a little anxious. Eighth turnover of the night for Crown Point, gives it back to Valpo in a tie game. 2.36 left to go here in the third. When you're playing that patient, you have to really watch what you're doing on, with the basketball because officials get the uh, a little gun shy. They want to. They want to call something. Creeping it across mid court is Brandon Nicholas. Just hands it off to Wolf. Bounce pass. Baseline. Three ball. Steve Helm. No good. Rebound. Crown point. <laughs> Bonin brings it across half court. Double team. Top of the key. Right wing for Burquist. Finds Stefanovic. Drives the lane. No good. Gets his own rebound. Can't get it. And a lot of bounds. Went off the bulldog. We'll go back to Valparaiso. Delectable steaks, pasta, seafood, and chops are why Gino's Steakhouse has been voted best in the region by Times Readers for the eighth year in a row. Gino's Steakhouse with location in Dyer or Merrillville. Visit the website at genosteakhouse.com and like them on Facebook at facebook.com slash Steakhouse. Other side moving left to right on your radio dial now is Valparaiso. Three-pointer top of the key by Steve Helm. Clanks off the rim, rebound Nick Jeffers. Jeffers the bonin to bring it across midcourt. Blake taking his time working on Helm. Back over to Burquist, Stefanovic, now back to Blake. Three ball put up Grant Galon. Clanks in and out of the rim. And going up for the rebound was Drew Paul, and it looks like they'll call a foul over the back against Crown Point. And they will. It'll go against Jeffers. That's his third foul. That's his third foul. Bringing a sophomore in. A tough assignment for a sophomore. Have some more scores for you here in just a moment. Get the updates from the RSN studios. Other side of the floor now for the Vikings. It's Evan Walls over to Helm. Helm the Walls dribbles baseline. Nice inlet bounce pass for Tenhold back in the game, and Tenhold gets to go. Tough assignment. Little floater with the left hand for Connor. Nine points in the night for him. Less than a minute to go. Valpo back out with a two point lead, 24 22. Grant Galon outside Blake Bone and three for Blake. Right side is good. 17 of the night for Blake Bonin. One point lead for Crown Point, 25-24. 37 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Evan Walls for the Vikings. Finds Tenho, holds the ball, takes, takes his time, it's catches very, his breath. Very, very important position for Valparaiso. When you play this kind of game, it's like Russian roulette. How so, Coach? Well... Somebody's going to gonna get shot. <laughs> <laughs> Nine seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Cole oh, Wolf oh, inside for Drew Paul. Paul puts up a shot. Hmm. Can't find it, but drew the foul. Yep. So Paul will go to the line for a couple of shots. They haven't missed a free throw yet. Have they? they have not missed a free throw yet. They haven't shot very many. <laughs> yeah. 3.9 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. That's the second foul of the night on Sasha Stefanovic. And Drew Paul will shoot one of two. First one is up and good. So five points in the night for Paul. Uh, score update 
for you at the end of three. It's Whiting with a three-point lead over River Forest in the two-way sectional. That's at the end of the third quarter. And at the end of three at East Chicago Central, it's Munster with a 15-point lead over Lake Central, 46-31. That scoreboard update was brought to you by the Smith Auto Group. Smith Auto Group, America's best now for less. Drew Paul sank the second of two shots. And a cross-court shot attempt at the end of the third for Crown Point was no good. And that will be the end of the third. Going into the fourth, a one-point game. Don't go anywhere, folks. 26-25 Valpo. We'll be back after this right here on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. You're listening to the Region Sports Network on WRTW Crown Point and WRTK Paxton, Illinois. Misprint can help your team's identification with team banners, trading cards, personalized team posters, stickers, decals, and fundraising ideas, too. Misprint has two locations, 8244 Calumet Avenue in Munster and in Hammond at 6931 Calumet Avenue. Both locations open Monday through Friday, 830 to 5, and in Munster, Saturday still noon. Online, it's MisprintUSA.com. Misprint in Munster and Hammond for custom print designs and signs. Your local Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers are proud to be contributing members of the community here in Northwest Indiana. Your local Chevy dealers also pride themselves on their commitment to help you find a vehicle of your choice at a Chevy dealer near you. Our website is ChevyDriveChicago.com. Once again, that's ChevyDriveChicago.com. We look forward to serving you. Chevy runs deep. High School Basketball on the Key, 90.5 FM, WRTW, Crown Point. We've got prep basketball here on the Region Sports Network, brought to you by your Chicago Land and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Visit ChevyDriveChicago.com. That's Chevrolet. They are number one. Start of the fourth quarter over here at Maryville High School, 26-25. Vikings with the lead over Crown Point. And the Bulldogs get the ball to begin the fourth. And there'll be a foul on the floor underneath the basket. And it looks like it will go against Valparaiso. I don't think we've got into the uh, bonus yet, have we? They have no. Four team fouls for Valpo, three for Crown Point. That's the first foul of the night on Cole Wolf for the Vikings. So an inbounds play on the baseline for Crown Point. Gets it over to Blake Bonin. Right wing for Burquist. Burquist guarded by Walls. Walls has been quiet on the offensive side tonight. Just a tray for Evans. Well, Galon is the uh, is the X factor right now. He hasn't found a shot. Bonin. Yep. Wait Wait Bonin from about 29 feet. They got to do something about Blake. 20 points now for Bonin. 18 of those coming from the outside. Six for nine from the perimeter gives the Bulldogs the lead back. 28-26. Oh, Other back. side, nice rotation oh. for Steve Hell. Backdoor play is very good. Well yep. executed backdoor play, but they called it off. They fouled him early. That was a smart okay. foul. <laughs> yes, it was. Got the Vikings fans up, but they will call it before the shot. It was a great backdoor feed from Drew Paul to Steve Helm, but he was fouled before the play, so Valpo will have an inbound. They get it inbound to Cole Wolf. Wolf will give it up to the right side for Walls. He'll give it back to Tenhove at the top of the key. 28-26, crown point. Looking for the Bulldogs' wall. Three ball, Drew Paul, right wing, no good. Fighting for it is a bunch of players, and it's recovered probably by the shortest guy in the court, and that's Blake Bonin. Bonin's going to bring it back up for crown point. 6-19 left to go in regulation. Low scoring game, 28-26, Bulldogs. Left wing, Berkwitz. Dribbles top of the key, working on walls. Back outside for Stefanovic. Dribble drive for Sasha. Looking for the bank shot. No good. Rebound counter ten hole. Bring it up quickly for the Vikings is Walls. And Walls turns it over. He was looking underneath for Paul. And Blake Boner was hiding behind him. Came around the back and intercepted that one. 5.45 left to go. It's Bonin. Slowing it down. Left side Burquist. He just can't Galen. get his shot away. Galen is trying there. It runs some set for him. Stefanovic back outside to Bonin from about 33 feet. Galen pops a three from the same distance on the right side. No good. Rebound Walls. Out to Helm. Helm looking to score in transition. 
And he'll draw the foul underneath from Bonin. That'll be two fouls against Blake. Five for Crown Point. And Steve Helm will go to the line for two in a two-point game. I still think the key is getting the ball inside to Jeffers. Jeffers got to work harder. He, he's hiding behind. He needs, he needs to move up the lane a little bit so he can get that shot away. First free throw for Helm is good. Five on the night for him. Three for three from the line. Brandon Nicholas checks back in for the Vikings on the timeout. Second free throw coming for Helm. Takes a dribble, takes a shot, nothing but that. So I don't think they missed a the free throw yet. Steve. 28 all, five and a half to go here in regulation for Merrillville. Get it across half court for the Bulldogs is Burquist. Back out to Bone and to Galon. Back to Blake. Blake now guarded by Brandon Nicholas near midcourt. Fans getting into it over here at Merrillville High School. It's Josh Burquist, top of the key. Guarded closely by Steve Helm. They got the ball inside. inside. Feet underneath for Jeffers. And Jeffers will draw the foul. That's the key. Yep. You got to get the ball inside take advantage of your height advantage. So Nick Jeffers in the game with three fouls. That is number four on Connor Tenho. That was a critical foul for Valparaiso. They cannot afford to lose their 6-7 center and their leading uh. score. The second in points on the year. Got to hit those free throws. First free throw for Jeffers was no good. Just two points on the night for Nick. He's averaging 18 a game on the year. Second free throw in a tie ball game is good. 29-28 crown point. Just under five minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Defense is going to be very important now. Bringing it across center court for the Vikings is Nicholas. Nicholas to Wolf to Paul, back to Brandon. Lob inside for ten hole. Three ball, Steve Helm. Nothing but net for Steve Helm. Nine points on the night for Helm. 31-29, Valpo. Other way now, it's Blake Bonin. Guarded tightly by Brandon Nicholas. Bonin dribbles with his left hand, drives left side. Wow. And they're going to call a foul underneath. And I think they're still in the, in the bonus yet. That wasn't against Connor, was it? It was not. That's going to go against Brandon Nicholas. That's just his second. As tight, so, as tight as they're playing Bonin, I would yep. I would attack the basket every time. 16 fouls now for Valparaiso. So Crown Point will be in a one and one moving forward. And on the inbound, it was Nick Jeffers. Excuse me, it was Galon that couldn't get a handle on it. And it went off his elbow and out of bounds. Turnover for Crown Point. Gives it back to the Vikings with a two-point lead. They're going to play really patient now. 31-29 Valpo, 4-10 left to go in regulation. Three, Steve Helm, no good. Long rebound recovered by Josh Berquist. Berquist will give it across. Getting it across half court late is Bonin. So Berquist will be guarded by the Helm now. Berquist dribbles left side, now, found, now finds Blake. Blake near center court, dribbles with his right hand, guarded by Nicholas. Left side for Berquist, now to Galon. Face by Stefanovic, underneath for Jeffers. And Jeffers lays it up and in. Nice movement, nice rotation by Crown Point. Leads to a basket, five points for Nick. 31 all, three and a half to go. 31 all. Boy, that's a low scoring game, isn't it? Especially considering the point totals that these two have put up. Valpo averaging 56.6 a game. Oh, dear. Three pointer, Steve Helm, baseline, no good. Long rebound recovered by Berkeley. Patience. Berkowitz was needed. thinking about going in transition, but he'll slow it up. Stefanovic, Bonin, three, is good. Blake Bonin, a long three from the right elbow. 34-31, crown point. 23 points on the night for Blake Bonin. Other side, Vikings, it's Nicholas. For Wolf, top of the key, back to Brandon, right wing. Underneath for Tenho with four fouls in the game. Back it up, Nick Jeffers. Tenho, floater with the right hand, no good. Out of bounds, rebound, be a jump and ball. they're going to call it to Crown Point. Got to be a jump They've ball. They've already reversed one call tonight, coach. Referee's having a discussion, oh. and it's going to go back to Valpo. You know when two My officials goodness. disagree, 
you get have a jump ball. Wow. Brandon Nicholas could not believe the call. It's right underneath us, Coach. It looked like it went off a crown point. Off the inbounds of Drew Paul looking for the basket and the foul. Couldn't find either. Recovery, Blake Bonin. That is the second, need to note it again, the second reversal I that would we've not had going to operate those not favorites shoot. tonight. With it is Burquist. Drives right side. No good. God, nice defense it. by Steve Went right Hell. down and shot, didn't it? Rebound by Tenhove. Bringing it up quickly for Valpo is Cole Wolf. To Helm. To Connor Tenhove. Now to Nicholas. Oh. Left wing. 2.13 to go. Jeffers hits the deck for Crown Point. And a turnover for Valpo. They were looking for Connor underneath. Threw it right over to Sasha Stefanovic. Two minutes left to go in this one. The next one, one is a 1-1. One one. Blake Bonin with it in a three-point lead. Minute 57 to go in the ball game, or in regulation at least. Grant Galon, baseline Stefanovic back out to Galon. Crown Point's going to slow it up. It worked so well for him in the second quarter as they outscored Valpo 14 to two. I would frame. not shoot. I would not shoot. It's Bonin for Burquist. Now Galon near center court. Galon working on Wolf. Crossover dribble for Galon over to Blake Bonin. Bonin with 23 points on the evening, leading all scores. One Blake one. dribbling right, left side, and he'll draw the foul. Cole Wolf got his hand in there. They've been calling that all night long. Minute 26 to go. Crown Point will be at the line in the bonus for a one and one with a three-point lead. I'll knock on wood here, but I think Bonin is the best free throw shooter. He's shooting 87% from the free, from the free throw stripe on the year. Oh, First one's it. no good of the one and one. Rebound Brandon Nicholas. Vikings trail by three, minute 20 to go. Season on the line for both teams. Got to play some defense. Cole Wolf, three ball, Connor Tenho from the right wing, no good. Rebound fought for, recovered by Crown Point and Blake Bowden. Valpo's going to put on the press now. A man press, All right. and they will foul. Andrew Paul foul Sasha Stefanovic and Sasha will go down for a one and one second foul on the night third foul I should say for Drew Paul for a specialty breakfast or lunch visit Jelly Pancake House in Maryville or Dyer open daily till 3 p.m. Jelly proudly offer homemade Greek yogurt smoothies freshly squeezed orange juice and a large gluten free menu visit the website jellypancakehouse.com and like them on Facebook and Facebook.com very very important slash free jelly, pa- jelly Pancake House First free throw for Stefanovic was good. He was 0 for 2 from the night. It's a two position ball game right yes, now. 35 31 crown point. Second free oh. throw for Sasha. No good. Just four points on the night for him. Four point game. It's where you One play minute defense. left to go here for Maryville. Valpo with the ball. A little floater by Steve oh, Helm. Man. And Helm will draw the foul. So you know, Helm will go to the line. He's shooting 93% from the stripe this year. <laughs> you know they're going to set screens yes. and so forth. You've got to be able to step out and switch on those situations. They have not missed a free throw. We'll see if we can jinx uh, Valparaiso. So Steve Helm at the line for two. First one is good. Very, very good from the line. Five for five from the night. Once again, shooting over 90% on the year from the stripe. He's the last guy Crown Point wants at the line right now. 35-32 Bulldogs. 55.9 left to go here in sectional number two for Merrillville. Second free throw for Helm is good. Ice cold blood in the veins for Steve Helm. Two-point ball game. 35-33. Valpo with the tenacious press off the inbound. Bonin gets it across center court for Grant Galon. And Galon will be fouled by Helm. So Valpo going to play the free throw game. Has Galon scored tonight? Galon has zero points on the evening. Coach, he's averaging 15 a game right now. Coming into this one. There's a great chance for him to hit two free throws. Make it a two, two possession game. Just shooting 78% from the stripe on the year is Grant Galon, who is scoreless tonight. In a two-point game, shooting the first of a one and one. Can't get it. He missed and it. And he went for his own rebound and knocked it out of bounds. He'll give it back to Valparaiso. They called a foul. They called a foul on him. They called a foul on Galon, so that will put Steve Helm back at the line as Crown Point is in the bonus as well. You and I both thought that one was out of bounds, Coach. So as they get things sorted out here, 
Listeners, stay tuned after the game. Coach and I will be giving all kinds of awards out at the end of this sectional. The Lincoln Carryout Super Sub of the Game brought to you by Lincoln Carryout. Also a new one, our United Federal Credit Union. Big money play of the game. A lot of potential for that one still in this one. That's brought to you by United Federal Credit Union. Also our Barry Brothers Blue Collar Player of the Game and the Crowell Company's Lantern Man Superhero of the Game. All at the conclusion of tonight's ball game, Coach Jim East and I will be handing out our awards in the post-game show. So Coach Matt Thomas having a discussion with the officials and now with his players. Well, the officials can't figure out who got fouled. They have had some, some problems tonight here, Coach. They're bringing a guy in that, that hasn't started, didn't start. So Drew Paul was at the line. Now he takes a step over, and Cole Wolf Better check out. will step up to the line for the Vikings. In a two-point game, first of a one and one, off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound, oh, Brandon Nicholas off the bounce. Berquist couldn't get a get a handle on it, so Valpo gets the rebound, and Matt Thomas will call a timeout. So a full timeout for Valpo. We'll take 30 seconds as well. Don't go anywhere, folks. 35-33, Crown Point, right here on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. When facing cancer, you want the best possible care. The hospitals of Franciscan Alliance are committed to providing state-of-the-art treatment using the most advanced cancer-fighting technology available. All right here in our community. You would go anywhere for world-class cancer treatment. It's nice to know we don't have to go far. For Franciscan Alliance Cancer Care, for more information, visit franciscanalliance.org. High School Basketball on the Key, 90.5 FM, WRTW, Crown Point. You've got prep basketball here on the Region Sports Network, brought to you by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. They are the MVP of MPG's fourth quarter here at Merrillville High School. 44.4 seconds left to go. It is Cole Wolf at the line for a second of a one-and-one in a two-point ball game, Crown Point with a 35-33 lead over Valparaiso. We've had a heck of a game here tonight, Coach. Yeah, the key is to get the rebound. If they miss the shot, you've got to get the rebound. So, excuse me, Cole Wolf is not the line. He missed the first of the one-and-one. One. That's my mistake. It'll be an out-of-bounds play as Brandon Nicholas recovered the rebound. It'll be an inbounds play for Valparaiso, trailing by two. Both teams in the bonus. 44.4 seconds left to go. They get it in bounds. It's Brandon Nicholas for the Vikings. Season on the line for both teams. 35-33 Bulldogs with it for the Vikings as well. Oh, Baseline dear. drive. Steve Helm. And Helm going up for the basket will draw the foul. You can't open up baseline like that. So the Bulldogs gave him the lane. They had no other call but to foul. It'll be the second one of the night on Josh Burquist. I don't think this young man has missed a free foul. throw yet, has he? He has not missed a free throw. He is 6 for 6 from the stripe on the night, 93% on the year. It's going to be a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one zone press after the make. Uh, we'll see if Crown Point can hold for one shot. So the officials cleaning up a little wet spot on the floor in the paint here. Nicholas and Morales for Crown Point aiding in that. And one of two free throws coming for Steve Helm, the junior guard for Valparaiso. Here's Six the key. Moves, first one You've got three. to check somebody out. You've got to check them out. Morales checks out for Crown Point. Back in the game is Blake Bonin, who took a little breather after the timeout. One-point game, 35-34. Second free throw by Helm is up and good. Eight for eight from the strike. 35 all. 31.7 left to go here in the sectional. Season on the line for both teams. Bringing it up the floor is Blake Bonin across midcourt. Guarded by Brandon Nicholas. Bonin, left side to Girl. Berquist. Berquist, guarded by Helm, dribbles right back for Blake. 15 seconds left to go for Bonin. Bonin's in range. He's got 23 points on the night. Bonin, guarded by Nicholas, 7 seconds. Outside for Bukowski, Bonin for Stefanovic, dribble drive, knocked oh, yeah. away by Valpo. Knocked away by the Vikings, and they'll draw the foul. Three seconds left to go in this one, and they're going to call the foul against Valpo. 
Nicholas committing the foul. Stefanovic has uh, to hit Stefanovic. the free throw. Stefanovic is one for three from the line tonight. 35 all. And Sasha will go to the line for two. Two shots. Hit them both. As one of them. First one for Sasha is good. Gives the Bulldogs the lead. 36 35. Now he's going to call a timeout. Very smart play by Valpo. Yeah. I might have called a timeout prior to that free throw. Valpo just has one timeout remaining. And it will be a full timeout. We'll take this time to take one more timeout as well. Three seconds left to go. Come back with the second free throw. 36 35 crown point right here on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. Planning on traveling to Indy for the state finals? Embassy Suites is located in the heart of Indianapolis. Embassy Suites is connected to Circle Center with many entertainment and dining options. All guests can enjoy two-room suites with bedroom and living room and complimentary hot breakfast each morning. Embassy Suites Indianapolis, 317-236-1800 or 1-800-EMBASSY. High School Basketball on the Key, 90.5 FM, WRTW, Brown Point. You are listening to another Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy Dealers presentation of High School Basketball here on the Region Sports Network, live tonight from Maryville High School on 90.5 The Key, WRTW, and around the world on the Internet at regionsports.com. Going to reset for you if you're just joining us. It has been one heck of a basketball game here tonight, 36-35 crown point. At the line for the Bulldogs is Sasha Stefanovic shooting the second of two with three seconds left to go in the ball game. Hit the free throw. That's the main thing. Hit the free throw. Too much talking. Too much talking. Valpo still with a timeout. Crown point with four. Second free throw for Sasha is good. 37-35 Valpo. Or, yeah, excuse me, 37-35 crown point. Three seconds to go. And they're going to call the timeout. So Matt Thomas will call the timeout, and we're going to keep it right here as we anticipate for the last play of the game. And, Coach, you said if, you there's anybody, buzzer beater. if there's anybody to be by my side right now in this situation, it's you. What's Matt Thomas t- setting up right now for Valparaiso? Well, you know what? you got three there's seconds a, There's left. a couple different things. You could throw the ball to a half-court call timeout. That gives you two, two seconds and, and uh, a chance to take a pass in yep. one dribble. Uh, I don't think you can. I don't think you can go long here. I, I think uh, they're putting a big man on the ball. So I think that's a, that's a very good move by Crown Point. But uh, I've seen stranger things happen. <laughs> well, when you get over 600 wins in a career, you're going to see some things happen in there, right? What was that number uh, again? I can tell you, you the number I lost. <laughs> 300 some losses. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I have I've I've lost some games like this. I had uh, West Side. We had a two-point lead, and a guy came in and hit a half-court shot from oh, the second line. Those are killers. Those are killers. Well, it is going to be an inbound play for the Valparaiso well, they're Vikings. They're putting their big man down here. So I. And we got a final from the other section of East Chicago Central, 61-45. Munster defeats Lake Central, so Munster will move on. Here we go, folks. Three seconds left. You Vikings gotta get basketball a with a two-point deficit. Cole Wolf will inbound. Wolf looking oh, for the basketball the pass to Denholz. Two seconds. Connor with the shot. He called a travel. And they called the travel against Connor Tenholz. It was a poor inbound from Cole Wolf. Tenholz recovered, threw up the hook. You and now me, just point you three who seconds. who going to win. I told you, Crown Point. You did. Yeah. Point three seconds left to go. Crown Point will inbound from center court. And they do. Blake Bowden gets it. And that's the buzzer, folks. The Crown Point Bulldogs will advance as the season will end for the Valparaiso Vikings. 37-35 Crown Point as they will move on and play the Portage Indians Friday night here at Merrillville High School. What a ball game. We're going to take a timeout. The Hall of Famer Jim East and I will have your scores break down this one. we got a lot to talk about. We're going to give away our Lincoln carryout sub of the game, our Union Federal Credit Union play of the game, the Barry Brothers Blue Collar player of the game, and our call company's Lantern Man superhero of the game. 37-35, Crown Point with the victory. We'll be back after this right here on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. 
Kitchen Carryouts, located at 1203 North Main Street in Crown Point, has been serving the Crown Point community for 10 years. Lincoln Carryouts is open 10 to 9, 7 days a week, offering homemade soups, fresh salads, and a variety of sandwiches. Every month at Lincoln Carryouts, it's a new monthly sandwich. And every Tuesday, it's the Steelworkers Special, a combination of roast beef, American cheese, mayo, lettuce, tomato, and onion on toasted rye. That's Lincoln Carryouts in Crown Point, home of the Italian submarine. Blue 82, located in St. John, just across from Lake Central High School, is where big screen sports, mouth-watering food, live music, and good times are all on the same team. Featuring food prepared from scratch with top-quality ingredients, Blue 82 provides a fun and relaxed atmosphere for groups big and small. Blue 82 is open for quick lunches, outstanding dinners, and late-night snacks. To see all that Blue 82 has to offer, including their menu, the website is www.blue82.net. At the Crowell Companies, our customers are more than just numbers on a ledger or anonymous people who sign up online. Our customers are the families we see at the ball fields, the grocery store, and all around the community. That's because for nearly 50 years, the Crowell Companies have been part of the community right here in Northwest Indiana, offering personalized custom services that only a local company can provide. For home, auto, and business insurance, it's the Crowell Companies, 923-2131 and online at CrowellInsurance.com. The Crowell Company, home of the insurance superheroes. Sports in the region are about tradition, and since 1946, Barry Brothers in Hammond has built a tradition of quality and service. With a professionally trained sales staff, Barry Brothers offers a selection of quality American-made work boots, safety shoes, and apparel. Located on Indianapolis Boulevard, a half mile north of Interstate 94, Barry Brothers is devoted to providing exceptional service to ensure the satisfaction of every customer. Barry Brothers is open seven days a week, and gift certificates are available. The website is barrybros.com. Green 18! Green 18! The Region Sports Network is proud to be the exclusive media partner of the Crown Point Junior Bulldog Youth Football League. The Junior Bulldogs are Northwest Indiana's largest independent youth football league serving over 500 players and their families from 22 Northwest Indiana communities. For more information on the Crown Point Junior Bulldogs Youth Football League, the website is cpjrbulldogs.com. That's cpjrbulldogs.com. Pet Supplies Plus has supplied safe and healthy pet care supplies and all-natural pet foods for over 20 years and is now open in Crown Point. At Pet Supplies Plus, we believe that people don't own pets, pets own people. As pet lovers ourselves, everything we do is designed to make pets happy. Our in-store team members can not only find the right products, but they have a talent for remembering a pet's face and name. This philosophy is the foundation of Pet Supplies Plus. So visit us at 1676 East Summit Street in Crown Point from 9 to 9, Monday through Saturday and Sundays until 7 p.m. High School Basketball on the Key, 90.5 FM, WRTW, Ground Point. Folks, welcome back to another Chicago and Northwest Indiana Chevy Dealers presentation of High School Basketball here on the Region Sports Network, live tonight on 90.5 The Key, WRTW, and around the world on the Internet at regionsports.com over here at Maryville High School. Things starting to quiet down a little bit, and my goosebumps are certainly residing as well or receding as well, I should say. They were residing on my arms for the last minute of that game. But uh, the butterflies are going down 37-35. The Crown Point Bulldogs advance in the Indiana Basketball Class 4A tournament with a two-point victory over the Valparaiso Vikings this year. The Vikings, the Dumoulin Athletic Conference champions, coming into this one looking to make a run in this tournament. And, man, they fought hard. They got out to such a big lead in the first quarter, wrapped up the first with a 12-3 lead, and... Crown Point comes out in the second quarter, outscores the Vikings 14-4 to and does not look back. It was a close ball game all the way in the second half, Coach. Teams exchanging baskets back and forth. And at the end of the day, it was Blake Bonin and the Crown Point Bulldogs, and I say that for a reason. We're going to go over all the stats you'll hear about in a second that will advance, and they will play the Portage Indians right here on this court on Friday night for a chance to move on to the sectional finals that will happen here on Saturday. I'm Brandon Alexander. He's the Hall of Famer, Jim East. We want to thank you all for joining us tonight. And, Coach, you just got handed the statistics for this evening. I have the scoring, but you have everything. No, it's, it's all. Uh, no, I can't. Come on. Well, you know. What do you got for us? Uh, Run it down. For, for the uh, Crown Point Bulldogs, uh, Blake Bonin hit 20, had 23 of the 37 points. Yes. Seven for nine from three point. Uh, Nick Jeffers had five. Sasha Sabatovic had six. Yep. And Josh Berkowitz had three. The statistic that doesn't show up here is, is that they shut the, one of the leading scorers out for Crown Point, but I'm mm -hmm. sure he's going to back, bounce yeah. back Friday. 
Yeah, for uh, Crown Point, Evan, no, it was Steve Helm mm -hmm. with 13, uh, Connor Van Tenhove yep. with uh, nine, Drew Paul with six, Brandon Nichols with Nichols with two, Jay Basaki with two, and that gives you 35 points. Mm -hmm. You knew it was going to be that kind of game. It's going to be a ball control game. Yeah. <laughs> but you you just don't know for sure if you can overcome what it was a 12 to one lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a tremendous tremendous accomplishment. Yeah. Valparaiso started the game 12 to one with the lead. A field goal uh, by Nick Jeffers or excuse me Josh Burquist in the first quarter. Uh, was the only basket. And that's the only basket he got for the game. That was the only basket of the game. And that was the only basket of the quarter for the Bulldogs. And they just added on a free throw. Uh, so 12-3 to after one. It was 17-16. Crown Point had the lead at half. 26-25 Valpo after three. And then after four is the only one that matters. 37-35. The Bulldogs with the W and advancing to face the Portage Indians who won earlier today. Uh, over Laporte right here in Merrillville, 61 to 47. So the Indians with an impressive performance against another DAC foe, and that will be a very, very good matchup on Friday night. Crown Point and Portage. So at this point, Coach, we got some awards to give away here in the post-game show, and we want to encourage all of our listeners before that to stay tuned after Coach East and I are done here, and Nathan Laird will be back at the RSN Studios for the Region Hoops Wrap-Up Show. He'll be running down all the scores from all the sectional games around the region and around the state and highlighting those that went down tonight at Merrillville High School and as well as the other 4A sectional happening at East Chicago Central. And stay tuned to Nathan Laird with the Region Hoops Wrap-Up Show with all those scores directly following Coach East and I in our broadcast. Well, at this point, it is time to name our Lincoln Carryout Super Sub of the Game. That's underwritten by Lincoln Carryouts on North Main Street in Crown Point. You get that honor. Oh, I well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Lincoln Carryouts, home of the Italian submarine and the steel worker sandwich. Funny thing about the super sub of the game is that there literally is only one person uh, that did not start the game that had a basket tonight. That was Jay Basaki for Valpo. But what I'm going to do is uh, Noah Morales for Crown Point played excellent tonight. Played excellent defense. And when he was in the game, uh, he was working on Evan Walls and Brandon Nicholas, and that is a tall order for a defender. And Walls was held to only one field goal tonight, running the point, and Nicholas uh, averaging not, not a lot of points a game, but just one field goal for Brandon as well. So we're going to say Noah Morales for the victorious Bulldogs is our Lincoln carryouts super sub of the game, and you're going to have the rest of these tonight because that's not my <laughs> job. Uh, it's time now to name our big money play of the game. That's underwritten by United Federal Credit Union. Uh, United Federal Credit Union, banking made easy, not a member yet. Open an account today at unitedfcu.com. And, hey, they're located at 510 North Broad Street in Griffith. Coach Jim East, the big money play of the game tonight. Well, Blake Bonin has seven threes, but I think it's the one where the, it's not a bounds play. Yep. I don't think he's hit that all year. <laughs> pass, pass it in, go around the screen, yep. get the handoff, shoot I know three, exactly what you're talking about. And he hit that one, but... Uh, 23 out of 37 is uh, quite an accomplishment. It's really good. I believe by my ledger at that point in the game, I believe it was a two-point Valparaiso lead, and that, in fact, uh, gave Crown Point a 25-24 lead at that point, and uh, Valpo into the quarter with a basket and a lead. But that really – Valpo had made a nice run there, and uh, Blake Bonin, who was a little quieter in the third quarter from three after scoring 12 in the second quarter, uh, made that shot. It was probably from about 30 feet from the right elbow and uh, sank the three, gave the Bulldogs momentum, and certainly Blake led his team to victory tonight. That big money play of the game, once again brought to you by United Federal Credit Union. Banking made easy. Now our Barry Brothers blue collar player of the game. Brought to you by Barry Brothers, providing quality work and safety footwear and apparel since 1946. A blue collar store for the blue collar worker, our blue collar Player of the game, well, I'm, gonna, coach. I'm actually going to give it to a Valparaiso player. Okay. I thought Connor Tenho. He was excellent. Worked hard and so and so forth. He but, was uh, excellent. Yep. He had a couple of turnaround left-handed shots, and uh, he's back next year. Yep, just a junior, the center. Uh, averaged 12.4 points a game, four, four and a half rebounds on the year, nine points on the night. But uh, to mention that he played most of the fourth quarter with four fouls. 
and they couldn't afford to sit him because of his defense and his inside presence as well as you know his, his propensity for being able to handle the ball on the offensive side and run the offense from the point. Uh, Connor Tenhove, certainly a great candidate, and he is our Barry Brothers blue-collar player of the game. That's Barry Brothers, located a half mile north of 8094 on Indianapolis Boulevard in Hammond. So finally, I, I have a feeling who this is going to be, but I'm going to let you name it, Coach. Our Crow Company's Lantern Man superhero of the game. Can I add a little fluff to it? Brought to you by Crow Companies. <laughs> they are your insurance superheroes. Proud to recognize all of the superheroes on the basketball court. So, Coach, our Lake, Lantern Lake, Man superhero of the game. Lake Bone is oh. my grandson. Oh. You didn't know that, did you? I, I didn't know that. I just haven't brought <laughs> it up. <laughs> but anyway, he got 23 of the 37 points. And uh, he, he brought him back from uh, the dead. Yeah, he did. <laughs> but uh, it, it's, a, it's a great victory. That's, a, that's the best victory uh, all year for Crown Point. Well, as a disclaimer, Blake Bona does not get the Lantern Man Crown Company's superhero of the game for being Coach Jimmy's grandson. No. He really was the player of the game tonight. 23 out of 37 points uh, for the Bulldogs. And just what a performance from the perimeter for Blake Bonin, just knocking down shots all night long. I said it before the broadcast, he's in range anywhere on the floor, and he certainly proved that tonight. So I would like to also mention that I was right about something during this broadcast as well. So our Lantern Man superhero of the game brought to you by Crow Companies. They have offices open from 9 to 9, Monday through Friday, Saturdays till 2, in Highland, Maryville, and Michigan City. Those are all of our awards, folks. We want to thank all of our underwriters who bring you Region Sports Network coverage of high school basketball on 90.5 FM, WRTW, and on the Internet at regionsports.com. That's your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. They are the MVP of MPGs. The Crow Companies, your insurance superheroes. Barry Brothers, a tradition of quality and service. Since 1946, McShane, business products and solutions. Since 1921, the Lake County agents of Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Christensen Chevrolet and Highland. Driving the American Dream, misprint in Munster and Hammond for custom print design and signs. Blue 82 in St. John, food, friends, and fun. Morris Baseball and Softball Center, providing elite instruction. Randall K. Miss Accounting Group, putting the numbers to work. Jack's Warehouse, great entertainment for the whole family. Triple Crown Baseball and Softball Academy, where the all-stars train. Smith, Chevy, and Hammond, and Smith, Chevy, and Lowell, we go the extra mile. Smith Ford and Lowell, your noble Ford dealer. United Federal Credit Union, banking made easy and by the Town Club Restaurant, Steak and Seafood, for 65 years. Tonight's special broadcast underwriters include Pet Supplies Plus and Crown Point. Great prices, no begging. BSN Sports, providing game-changing solutions for schools. Geno Steakhouse, delectable steaks, pasta, and seafood. Jelly Pancake House, not just your ordinary restaurant. Franciscan St. Anthony Health Sports Medicine Institute, improve performance and avoid injury through training. Lincoln Carryouts in Crown Point, home of the Italian submarine. The city of Crown Point, building a stronger community from within since 1834. Z Alloy Metal Distribution, Crown Point Industry, backing the Bulldogs. Bob Reese State Farm, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I'd like to thank everyone involved in this broadcast tonight, bringing you the first of many sectional games that you'll hear on regionsports.com and the Region Sports Network over the next couple of days. Our executive producer is Chris Ramirez. Our chief engineer is Mike Bonaventura, our coordinating producer, Nathan Laird. Game producer was me, Brandon Alexander. <laughs> you did a great job. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> I'm that. I'm going to miss you tomorrow with, night. <laughs> oh, well, I'll miss you too, Jim. But uh, other things have to be done. Uh, I'll be back with you on Friday and Saturday for sure. I'd like to send a special thank you to Jody McManus, the station manager over at 90.5 FM WRTW, and a very special thanks to Janice Quiliza, the athletic director here at Maryville High School, doing a great job of coordinating these two sectional games tonight. Of course, all of our listeners on 90.5 FM, WRTW, and regionsports.com, we wouldn't be here without you, so we thank you for tuning in and joining us tonight for what was one heck of a ball game. Recap both the scores. First game tonight, Portage over Laporte, 61-47, to and you heard Crown Point defeat Valparaiso and end their season 37-35. The Bulldogs move on, and they will play Portage Friday night. Stay tuned to regionsports.com for the broadcast schedule of all the sectional games going on here in the region and the rest of the tournament that will be coming to you on regionsports.com. For the Hall of Famer Jim East, my name is Brandon Alexander. Thank you so much, folks, once again for joining us on 90.5 FM and regionsports.com. If you're in your cars coming home from Maryville, please drive safely and stay tuned for all of our broadcasts here in the near future. Good night, everybody.
High school You're basketball the on the key, 90.5 FM, WRTW, Crown Point.